night, a house full of children may lead police to find suspects wanted in connection in a fatal shooting and a police standoff. The crime scene is on Cleveland's west side on Sackett Avenue near West 33rd Street. News Channel 5's Dan Haggerty has this new report. Police swarmed Sackett Avenue after shots were fired in the street around 3.30 on Sunday afternoon. When our cars arrived on scene, they found two uh, people laying in the street, victims of gunshot wounds. Two people were shot. 22-year-old Bernardo Santiago was killed. Another man, police say, is in critical condition. What happened? He got shot. I don't know. Abigail Petrie is Santiago's cousin. She was one of the dozens of people who showed up in the snowy west side neighborhood while police surrounded a home they thought the suspects were hiding in. I just came and decided it was him. I know him for the longest. It was like family. Police hovered and SWAT teams stepped into place while negotiators tried to communicate with the suspects. But after hours, they eventually stormed the house. The suspects were gone. Some children who lived in this house were home and they were afraid to come to the door when the police were here. So they are fine. We've got them out of the house and we're interviewing them now. Lieutenant Mark Ketterer says because the shooting was in broad daylight and in the middle of a neighborhood street, they have plenty of witnesses. Police also found a handgun. But for now, the suspects are on the run. In Cleveland, Dan Haggerty, News Channel 5.